and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zara Griffiths and today I'm riding the beautiful Allegro. As always, these videos are completely free of charge for you guys. I'm just here to help you lot out. But if you want to show your support, I would love you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give the video a thumbs up. to canter so the aids for canter basically now this video is a really simple video but what I want you to think about is how you're going to move your body with your horse basically the transition from trotter to canter you really want to think about how you don't want to fight them by not moving with them so it's quite important at this point that we go with them so the aids for the canter is one I must have a good trot and when I say good trot it does not mean fast because everybody always thinks oh, I've got to have a really forward trot to get the canter and that is just not the case so if we go too forward in the trot they run they're then on their forehand they're then going to find it really hard to pick themselves up push you back into the saddle to then pick up the correct canter lead because of course I'm teaching you how to ask your horse to canter but it's also important that we get the correct leg so let's break that down a bit more having your horse on the correct lead in canter is when their inside leg is coming forward further than the outside leg now if that is the other way round, then that is incorrect because they are on the wrong canter lead so i'm going to try and show you what i mean as i'm going round. but what should happen is i'm going to start on the right rein the right leg should be going more forward than the left leg and you should be able to see that once we're going so how am i going to ask for that and i will explain it more whilst i'm doing it but i've just said we need a good trot not fast so the trot's got impulsion it's going somewhere the head's not on the floor they're nice and engaged and by that i mean they're like strong through their back end and then what's going to happen is i'm going to go into sitting trot just for a couple of strides so my horse then knows something different is going to happen i'm then going to swing my outside leg which on the right rein would be my left leg is going to come back behind the girth so let's get a little shot of what's going to be happening to my leg okay so here's my legs normal in line uh i've got my ear shoulder hip line fine and what's going to happen when i ask for that canter is my outside leg is going to come back like that so it's going to come from here to back there you know it doesn't have to be like whoa all the way back over there and it doesn't want to be tiny little bit but all that's going to happen is my leg is going to just choop, come back like that and i can just turn my foot in if i want more pressure Again, I'm not using my spur today, but I can still turn my foot in a little bit and that will help him know which leg I want to ask for. So enough of doing it with me standing still, let's crack on. So I am now in rising trot. I am on a circle, so it's always, um, I think, easier to ask your horse to canter on a circle, but it's also absolutely fine if you want to ask your horse to canter in a corner so a lot of the times when you ask your horses to canter you can do that in a corner but basically anything where you're bending them a little bit it's much harder to do it when they're straight so i like to do it either on a corner or on a bend so i'm going to ask for the canter when i come past the camera so you can see what i do so i'm going to go sit and trot look up outside leg came back did you see good boy so looking back into the trot so i trot i breathe out go with him and i also sit for a couple of strides when i come down as well so i'll show you what my body's doing i'm staying square in that saddle you know i'm trying to not lean into the circle because that's going to knock my horse off balance i just want to rotate my body slightly to the inside of the circle i've got a little bit of inside bend so my horse is looking inside the school i sit in trot outside leg back and he goes into canter good boy i changed the rein now i know it's easy for me on leggy who is a advanced dressage horse 
but it's much harder if your horse doesn't know what he's doing. But I promise you, if you keep persevering and keep asking the same way, your horse will also learn. But consistency is key. So if you've got a young horse and you're training them, don't ask them different every time. Make sure you ask them the same every time or else you're gonna confuse your horse. So sit in trot, watch my leg, right leg back. Yeah? I'm not leaning forward. I'm very tall in my body, thinking about my alignment, keeping tall from my, um, you know, from my rib cage to my pelvis, nice and tall. Back into the trot. Do it. Sit in trot, couple of strides, then I rise. Thinking about rotating slightly to the inside of my school. I've got inside bend. Sit in trot, right leg back, and canter. Good boy. Well done, Leggy. Again, I know I've just showed you me ask for trot to canter on an advanced dressage horse, but just take away what I said about consistency. So even if you're on a baby horse or a green horse, think I must ask for canter by inside bend, outside leg back every single time. Because if you start trying to make it easier by trying to ask them in a different way, you're going to teach your horse incorrect and you're going to make life hard for in the future. So I started training this horse as soon as he was broken in. So I like to make sure then that as I was going up the levels, when I asked him for a transition, I asked him the same every time. And then when it came for him learning the walk to canter and the flying changes, it was easier because he knew what I meant when I swapped my legs back. So if you have any questions, please just forward them to my Facebook page or comment down below on my YouTube channel. As always, if you've enjoyed them, please give a subscribe to my channel and I will see you for the next one.